Hello and welcome to another YouTube Weka tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use multiple numbers of rock curves for multiple numbers of classifiers. So in previous uh, tutorial, I demonstrated how you can generate a single rock curve for a single classifier. But in practical situations, most of the cases, you'll need this uh, tutorial to uh, learn how you can generate multiple numbers of classi multiple numbers of rock curves for multiple numbers of classifiers. This is really important to evaluate the performance of your classifiers. So to start with, we are going to the knowledge flow of Weka because Explorer will not allow you to produce multiple rock curves for multiple classifiers. In order to produce these rock curves, we have to go to the Knowledge Flow application of Weka. So I click on that, the Knowledge Flow environment is now loading. So when it's loaded, the first thing is to get the R floater. This will load the R file. The second thing you need to do is you are trying to trying to uh, point out which one is your uh, class attribute. So in order to do that, you have to go to the class assigner in the evaluation tab. You select that and you put that in knowledge flow layout. The next thing to do is to choose the class value picker here from the evaluation tab. You click on that and you put that in your knowledge flow layout. So I'm going to connect these things later. So at this point, we have the R floater, we have the class assigner to see, to say, Weka, which one is your class attribute, the class value picker. I'll talk about this more shortly. The next thing to do is you're going to uh, set up a cross fo cross validation fold maker because we're doing a tenfold cross validation. So we put that in the knowledge flow layout. The next thing to do is to classify the items using classification algorithms. In this example, I'm just choosing classifiers uh, produced by naive base, and also I'm going for a tree type classifier which is random forest there you go I choose it and I put it here okay so as, as these two algorithms will produce classifiers, I need to know their performances. So I go to the evaluation tab and you can see we have an option there, classifier performance evaluator. So I click on that, I put it there. I click on that, I put it there. So I need two performance evaluator for two algorithms present here. And finally, I want to visualize the rock curves from the performance evaluator. So I need to pick up the model performance chart from the visualization tool. I click on that and place that on the layout. So I have pretty much everything except the connections. To connect the R floater with the class assigner, we have to right click on that and we click on data set. We have an age and we connect these two. Next thing is from the class assigner we right click on that. Again we choose the data set and we connect it with class value picker. Again we click on we right click on the class value picker and we find the data set and we put that to cross val cross validation fold maker. So after getting our data set up to this point to the cross validation fold maker we have to provide the training and test set to the two algorithms we are using naive base and random forest so we right click on the cross validation fold maker we choose training set and put it to naive base and again right click on the cv fold maker we choose the test set and put it back to naive base 
Again, in a similar way, we are right clicking on CV Foldmaker, choose, choosing the training set and connect it with Random Forest. And again, right click on the CV Foldmaker, choose the test set and put it back to Random Forest. In this way, we are saying, okay, we are having a cross fold uh, validation here. We are making tenfold or uh, for example, in general, we are making k folds, and these k folds are served to these two algorithms as training and test set. Next, we are going to give the data from naive base as a batch classifier to the classifier performance evaluator. We do it for naive base, and again on random forest, we right click and we find the batch classifier there. To connect it to the classifier performance evaluator the next thing to do is right click on the performance evaluator and we're getting the threshold data we are pointing that to model performance chart this is flowing from naive base part and this one will be flowing from the random forest part that we are right right clicking on the classifier performance evaluator we're choosing the threshold threshold data and put it back to model performance chart okay now to configure we can say that which one is our class assigner so we right click on that and we click on configure and you can see that it's not still there because we didn't load any kind of data here so we put on a cancel and we're now trying to load the r file we right click on the r floater we go to the configure and we are choosing the diabetes data set from the Weka repository. Then we are right clicking on the class assigner and we are saying configure and you can see that you can put any class there. So these are the attributes in our R file, diabetes.r file and we are saying that okay my class file is the last one so select that one and click OK. The next thing to do is the class value picker. So if you don't know what, what, what is the purpose of class value picker, you can go back to my tutorial uh, and there you'll be able to see that whenever you're producing a rock curve, that rock curve can be produced for each items, each class labels. Okay, so that's what you are going to tell here in the class value picker. So we are going to right click on the class value picker, we click on configure. And you can see that we are having two types of uh, class values there, tested negative and tested positive. So the rock curves can be produced either for tested negative class or tested positive class. So just for the sake of the tutorial, we're saying, okay, we're interested to produce the rock curves for tested positive class value. And we're clicking OK. And the last thing to configure here is the cross-validation cross fold maker. We right click on that. We click on configure you can see the folds are 10 so that's uh, that's okay because we are expecting to make this experiment as uh, in a tenfold cross validation environment so that's okay we cross that so in order to uh, put this experiment into practice what we are going to do here is we are going to click on the R floater, right click on the R floater and we click on start loading. So you can see that something is going on here and everything is finished. The result is now on model performance chart. So we right click on model performance chart and select show chart. So now you can see that we are having two, uh, two rock curves there. One is for naive base, the other one is for random forest and the random forest and naive base both are present there and from these rock curves you can see which one is better and which one which one is not to interpret the rock curve as i told you in my previous tutorial that the curve should be the perfect curve is just like this so it starts from zero it stays with the y-axis and then expands to the x-axis the more the curve closer to one the better the performance of your classifier is. I hope that helps. In this way, you'll be able to class. You'll be able to understand or report the classifier performances when you are using multiple numbers of classifiers on a single data set. 
Thank you very much and I'll be back with more tutorials shortly. Thank you. Don't forget to like my tutorial if, if this was really helpful for your experiment and don't forget to subscribe my channel to get more updates and tutorials. Bye.